Hello everybody, it's Chibi, and today I'm here to bring you a first impressions of Seraph of the End Volume 1. I have yet to actually read Volume 2, which I plan to read very soon, but anyways, I want to be talking about Volume 1. Now, for the most part, this is just going to be a first impression. I'm just pretty much going to give you all my first impressions of the series and honestly what you should expect from the series. So this series has actually garnered a lot of attention recently for the past couple days because of the anime trailer. Now I have yet to actually see the anime trailer at this time of making this video. I've yet to see the trailer for myself, but I've heard a lot of Chibits telling me I need to go watch it. It's really hype and that supposedly from what I'm hearing is that the company that worked on Attack on Titan is also working on Seraph of the Inns anime that's uh, set to air in spring next year. So, that's pretty damn good news. Like, just straight up good news. Because, from what I've told, like, the trailer looks really fucking hype. So, we'll have to see. Now, anyways, just right off the bat, I want to talk about the series and what you should probably expect. It's a supernatural series that has a lot of, like, survival or humanities, like, pinned up against the wall type you know, aspects about it. If you like those themes, you'll definitely like this series. Now, I can see how a lot of people coming into the series could possibly compare it with Attack on Titan, but I've seen a lot of other series that are kind of like this too in general. That's not just Attack on Titan theme, but the earliest one that can come to memory is definitely Attack on Titan when it does come to this series. So, the overall aspect has supernatural, vampires, demons, it has, like, demon contracts, Humanity has, like, died from a virus, pretty much. Like, a virus has wiped out majority of all of humanity besides, like, one-tenth of humanity. And so, humanity is pretty much fucked at this moment, at the beginning of this volume. So, the overall first impressions of the series, is it anything groundbreaking, so to say, from my first read-up, reading just volume one, the first three chapters? It's nothing really groundbreaking. I've seen all the elements portrayed in this before. So it's nothing necessarily new that I could say that revolutionizes like humanity backed up against the wall. And I, I'm not going to necessarily say it's a bad series. I'm not. I'm just saying it hasn't done anything yet so far from what I've read that just stands out among everything I have seen. Now the introduction, the first chapter of Seraph of the End is pretty impressive. Like... I, I like the artwork, the way it was portrayed, but also seeing these kids cut down in this volume, I was like, what the fuck? Like, you see these kids that were supposedly being lied to saying like, oh, you stay here, like, any children above the age of 13 will die if they go up top in the real world because of the virus that humanity supposedly made and wiped their own selves out. And the thing is, is when you see these children running from the X and all that, you see this one noble vampire just cut down these fucking children. And I'm like, oh my god. And just to see these kids getting cut up and all that, it's pretty freaking gruesome. Like, uh, let's see. Let me find an actual page of it and I'll show you what I'm talking about for you can see for yourself. Because, I mean, it's not the most violent thing. I mean, if you get used to berserk and stuff, I mean, it's not violent at all. But, I mean, comparing to some things I have seen, it's, yeah, here it is. Pretty much you see like the head fly off right there if you look closely. You see someone getting cut in half right there. You know, just a bunch of stuff going on in the volume. I mean, it's not that bloody, but it, it's pretty violent. Definitely the anime could possibly betray this to be very violent depending on how it goes. And since it is the same company that made Attack on Titan, I'm willing to bet it's going to be pretty badass. But anyways, back on topic with this manga. It's an interesting read. It is an interesting read. It's worth looking at. I mean, if you like vampires and you like supernatural elements where a main male character, Protag, wants to actually get revenge against vampires because they killed his family, pretty much all his friends and family, and he, like, yells out, like, I'm going to get revenge, then this definitely, this is a type of series for you. Now, like I said, I have yet to read Volume 2, so I don't know exactly what happens in Volume 2 that changes everything on top of its head. But the introduction of the power system, so far from what I've seen, is pretty interesting. Supposedly, these weapons are called, like, Cursed Gear. And these Cursed Gear weapons are actually, like, demon contracts. Like, you make a contract with a demon, and it becomes your weapon. And so, the overall aspect of that's pretty interesting. So, we'll have to see where that goes later on in the series. But, yeah, that's pretty much my first impressions of Seraph of the End. It's a good series so far, but it's nothing that's so spectacular, I would say, that it's just you need to stop what you're doing at this moment and read it right now. But it is good. Go give it a shot for yourself to see if you like it. There is a lot of different similarities to other series I've seen that uh, a lot of people like, for instance, Attack on Titan. So tell me your thoughts. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.